Hey everyone and welcome to Back to Basics where we will be talking about healthy LGBTQ relationships. We are so glad that you tuned in and we are thrilled to be partnering with Domestic Violence Crisis Center on this Pride Week collaboration. Um, my name is Anna and I am the community educator at TCC and I am so thrilled to be able to introduce you to Anne over at DVCC. Thanks, Anna. Good evening, everyone. Again, my name is Anne and I work at the Domestic Violence Crisis Center. I oversee our community initiatives, among some other things. I am so excited to be with you tonight, virtually, of course, to talk about healthy relationships. This collaboration between TCC and DVCC is so important, and I'm so glad that we're able to do this. Um, it can be hard to talk about healthy and unhealthy relationship behaviors and there tends to be a myth that domestic violence and intimate partner violence are things that don't happen within LGBTQ relationships. Um, but that's just not true. The research shows that LGBTQ folks are equally, if not actually more likely to experience domestic violence um, or intimate partner violence within their lifetime. And so while this conversation might be tough to get started on, I'm so glad and proud that we're able to, to work together to begin talking about it and bring to light um, the healthy behaviors that make a great LGBTQ relationship. Relationships have differences in how they're structured and who is in them, but what all healthy relationships have in common is that they're based in respect and equality. I'm going to spend some time talking about healthy relationships. Healthy relationships bring out the best in us and they lift us up. A healthy relationship does not mean a perfect relationship as a perfect relationship does not exist. However, there are behaviors and characteristics of healthy relationships that we should all strive for. Equality is an essential part of a healthy relationship. When there is equality, both partners have the same amount of power and authority and the relationship feels balanced. When there's equality, there's often compromises happening in a relationship and you feel like your needs and wants are just as important as your partner's. The next part of a healthy relationship is respect. Respect is when you value one another's beliefs and opinions and you appreciate each other's differences. When there is respect, there is a sense of freedom to be yourself and that your partner is going to love who you are. Respect also impacts our communication as we want respectful, healthy communication with our partners. We also need to respect differences in boundaries as we all have different boundaries. And finally, we have to talk about trust and honesty. In a healthy relationship, we are able to be open and honest about our feelings and thoughts without the fear that those things are going to be used against us. When you trust your partner, you feel like they have your back and your best interests at heart. Anna is now going to give us some specific examples of healthy behaviors within LGBTQ relationships. A healthy behavior within an LGBTQ relationship might involve something like using someone's correct pronouns, even if they are different from the ones that um, this person initially used when you met them or when you started dating them. Um, so respecting the pronouns that someone wishes to be referred to by. Uh, and this might also be a chosen name that someone uses. Um, so respecting how someone wishes to be addressed and referred to is a very, very healthy behavior in a relationship. It would be very unhealthy in a relationship to deliberately ignore someone's pronouns um, or deliberately use the incorrect pronouns or refer to them by an incorrect name. Um, these are definitely not indicators of respect and everyone in a relationship deserves to be seen by their partner and treated with respect. Another example of a healthy relationship behavior is practicing privacy and respect of privacy. So for instance, um, an LGBTQ person might be out to their partner in a relationship, but might not be out to anyone else, including friends or family um, or authority figures. And a partner should respect that. Um, people should be able to come out at their own pace when they feel safe and ready. And it's not up to a partner to decide when someone can or should take that step. Um, in, in their relationship with their identity. 
a partner definitely should not be using someone's LGBTQ identity as a coercive tactic or um, as a threat, threatening to out someone. Um, that's all unhealthy behaviors because it's using someone's identity to control them and to manipulate the situation. So a healthy relationship requires um, respect of privacy between people um, and that level of trust. At Domestic Violence Crisis Center, we have worked with TCC to train all DVCC staff in LGBTQ cultural competency. It is our priority to make sure victims and survivors feel welcome and supported at our agency and that staff understand the unique obstacles that LGBTQ victims and survivors face when seeking help around domestic violence, especially when folks are first coming out. Remember that help and support is available if you're in an unhealthy relationship or experiencing domestic violence. At DVCC, we will welcome you, listen to you, and affirm your identity and experiences. Your safety and confidentiality are of the utmost importance to us. Given the historically gendered focus of the domestic violence field, it is important to know that DVCC serves individuals of all gender identities and not just women. Additionally, the availability of our services does not vary depending on how you identify. At DVCC, all victim services are free and confidential. This includes individual and group counseling, crisis intervention, and a 24-7 hotline. We have advocates who specialize in financial and housing advocacy, as we know the majority of victims experience some form of financial abuse and that housing is often a barrier for leaving an abusive relationship. We also provide legal advocacy, including helping victims and survivors obtain restraining orders. Everyone deserves to feel safe, happy, and respected in their relationships, regardless of what that relationship looks like. Pride Month is all about celebrating and promoting self-affirmation, dignity, respect, and equality for the LGBTQ community, as well as dismantling stigma, shame, and oppression towards our community. During Pride, we want to increase the visibility of healthy relationships within the LGBTQ community. Healthy relationships are based on the ideas that Pride is based in, equality, dignity, and respect. Thank you all so much for joining us this evening to learn a bit more about healthy LGBTQ relationships and the resources that are out there for you all. Um, I hope you all noticed that Anne and I are both rocking our, our orange today for our Colors of the Rainbow campaign. So just a reminder to put your orange on today on Tuesday and take a picture and tag TCC in it, CT Pride Center, and use the hashtag TCC 2020 Pride Week. And you'll have a chance, if you do that, to win a TCC Rainbow t-shirt, which is very exciting and they're very comfortable. Um, also, just a reminder that we are doing a, a text to give this week. So to donate to TCC, all you have to do is text TCC Pride to the number 56651 and follow the prompts to make your donation. We really appreciate it and it really will make a difference in a lot of people's lives. So thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.